How would you like to write the Selenium test in Java with half the code and four times as fast as it would normally take? That's what this series of videos is all about. And today I'm going to show you how to spend less time when retrieving elements from a page. My name's John Ferguson Smart and I help testers become brilliant agile test automation engineers so that they can get better jobs and stand out in their industry. And in every video on this channel, I'm going to give you actionable tips that you can immediately apply in your own work so that you can grow as an agile test automation engineer. So what we're going to do is test a very simple site. All I want to do here is see how we would retrieve these text elements on the menu bar at the top of the page. So imagine we have a scenario where we need to check the navigation features. And the first thing we need to do is check these menu elements. So what we could do is have a cucumber scenario like this one. So Olivia, who is a shopper, she's shopping on the website. She views the main menu bar. She should see the following items. So that's pretty straightforward as far as it goes. How do we automate it? Well, first of all, we can have our step definition class that looks like this. Now, in a traditional Selenium code, automation code, we would need to set up a driver, create a driver. We'd have a web driver, driver equals new Chrome driver, and we'd have some options and so forth. And we'd work through that way. We might have to store the web driver here so we can refer to it and so forth. There's a lot of boilerplate. In Serenity, what we do is we simply extend UI interaction steps. And what that does is it gives us access to the web driver API. So now we can call get driver and interact directly with the page itself. And we can even do better than that. So the URL that we're opening is, let's just copy that over. So normally we would do something like this URL, get this URL. Now in Serenity, we don't even need to do that. All we can do is say open URL and then pass in the URL. And then the next step, here's where it gets really interesting, is we would want to read some elements from the page. So if we wanted to read elements from the page, what would we normally do? Well, we would do something like this. We'd say menu item equals new array list. And if we go back into the page and have a look, at what these menu items are. If I inspect that and I open this out a little bit, we can see that these menu items are, there are different levels of navigation. That's a net, there's a navigation class and it's got some uh, UI menu levels at the uh, first level. So one way we could represent that in uh, in CSS would be to use a CSS selector like uh, we've got category item level top. So we could do this. We could say category item level top and that would retrieve the items we want. So we can use that in our code as well. In our code, we could do something like this. We could say uh, list web elements, menu element men equals get driver, find elements by CSS selector. We pass in the CSS selector, and then we're going to need a for loop for web element. Let's close this so we can have a bit more space web element for all of the web elements. And then we're going to add the web element to uh, to the list of items. And then we can go and check that. So that code will work. But you saw the effort we needed to go to to retrieve the items, to list them all, to go and go through them all and get the text. So we can do a lot better in Serenity BDD. So in Serenity BDD, there are a few things we do. Rather than saying get driver find elements all the time, we can say simply say find all. So you notice we've got a whole lot of options to find all. We can find all by with a by locator. Uh, and there are a few other ways that I'll look at in other videos. But one of the simplest is simply to pass in the CSS selector. So we can say find all category item level top. And that will basically do all of this. 
but it gets better because we've still got this for loop. What do we do with this for loop? Well, we don't need that anymore because in Serenity we have this thing called texts. We can do a number of functions. We return a collection of web elements that we can perform operations on. We can do a map where we map them to different elements or we can just retrieve the text values. So I can simply say menu items equals find all of our items. And so now we've written the code with open URL, a single line, menu item, find all the element, get the text, and then the assertion stays the same. So we've reduced, if we take away this sort of boilerplate code, we have taken seven or eight lines of code and written them in three lines of code. So half the code, and when you know how to do this, you're not mucking around with for loops and, uh, uh, and selectors and whatnot. You're just getting on and declaring what you want. So that's where you get a huge gain in time. Just writing that is at least four times faster than normal code. That's all for today, folks. If you'd like the video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get more actionable tips just like this one.